Hello, in this podcast we will discuss about top 5 tips for better financial decisions. But before that if you want to read full article about it then the link of the article is in description. Also you can subscribe to our YouTube channel Monist View. Being a successful investor is not just about having a sound financial strategy, it is also about having mental fortitude. Unless you are aware of your biases and shortcomings, you might end up making emotional investment decisions. These decisions can result in underperforming investments and also missed investment opportunities. 1. Chunking Breaking big tasks into smaller tasks The need to be rich is almost universal, but the thought of how you can reach the ultimate goal can seem like a daunting task. This is where chunking can help you break the final goal into smaller and more manageable tasks. For example, suppose you want to invest in stocks. To make your first investment, you do not need to know everything about the stock market. Instead, you can focus on a much smaller aspect of the stock market and study it carefully before making your investment. Similarly, you can focus on a specific industry or sector like banking, insurance, metals, etc. before making your first investment. 2. Reframing Consider a different perspective. The art of reframing requires you to analyze the current situation from a different angle. This change in perspective can help you assess the situation differently. Doing this exercise can help you figure out alternate solutions that otherwise might not be easily visible. For example, suppose you are the owner of a building equipped with an old elevator. If you receive multiple complaints that the elevator is too slow, your first thought might be to replace the old elevator or find a way to speed up the elevator. Now, instead of opting for this obvious solution, you can reframe and look at the problem I. E. Unavailability of the elevator from a different angle. After reframing, you might find that the elevator traffic is highest during the lunch break as all the tenants have the same lunch hour. This perspective can lead to an alternative solution, asking the tenants to stagger their lunch breaks in order to reduce elevator traffic during a specific time of the day. Another possible solution can be to make the wait time more pleasant by installing a screen that displays news updates in front of the elevators. 3. Fear setting, preparing for worst case scenarios. While being optimistic is often the right approach, fear setting does the reverse. In fear setting, you have to imagine that you have made the wrong decision and force yourself to analyze everything that can go wrong from that point onwards. This analysis of worst case scenarios can help you identify potential problems and address them before they happen. One way to implement fear setting into your decision-making process is the seven-step fear setting framework developed by Tim Ferriss. This seven-step framework looks like this. Step 1. Define the nightmare scenario. Step 2. Identify ways to repair the damage. Step 3. What are some of the more probable scenarios? Step 4. If you are fired today, how would you gain financial control? Step 5. What are you putting off out of fear? Step 6. What is the financial, emotional, and physical cost of postponing the action? Step 7. What are you waiting for? This exercise brings forward the natural fear reactions that you might experience when things go wrong, but identifying these fears early on is the first step toward conquering them. 4. Mistake Board To remember and learn from your mistakes. We all make mistakes, but often we forget our prior errors. This increases the chances of repeating the same mistake. One way to ensure you remember and learn from your mistakes is to create a mistake board or wall of shame. This can serve as a reminder of your mistakes so that you do not end up repeating the same mistakes. Some examples of mistakes that you can include in your mistake board are a selling a stock too soon or too late, b buying an expensive ULIP or endowment policy, c making incorrect investments based on stock tips, d investing in futures and options without understanding how these work. While keeping a framed copy of the mistake board might be a great reminder, you can also try out a more subtle approach. For example, keeping a scrapbook or a diary with a list of investment mistakes you have made can also help you achieve the same end result. 5. Inversion – Working backwards from the end result The concept of inversion or working backward to arrive at a solution has been used by the famous German mathematician Carl Gustav Jacob Jacobi. While the concept of inversion might seem counterintuitive, it can be a powerful tool to solve all sorts of financial problems. While implementing this technique might not be easy, if applied correctly, it can help you avoid many common investing mistakes. For example, to put inversion into practice, consider the question, what should I do to earn more money? After applying inversion, the question will change to, what should I do to destroy my finances? By considering the inverted question, you will end up thinking in the exact opposite manner and arriving at a completely unique set of solutions that can be equally effective in reaching your goals. The key benefit of using inversion is that it helps you challenge existing beliefs and forces you to think outside the box. In the long term, 
practicing inversion rigorously can lead to significant improvement of not only your finances but also your personal and professional life. Now let's conclude this podcast by summarizing learning. Each of the five mental hacks discussed above are designed to help you think beyond conventional norms and arrive at innovative solutions. For example, chunking can help you break a large formidable task into smaller bits. Then reframing can help you a better problem to solve. Thinking of worst case scenarios and their possible solutions can help you identify and plan for various problems that might occur in the future. Similarly, thinking like a statistician help you cut through the noise while the why it happened. Analysis can help you understand the root cause of an investment's out or underperformance. By applying these five unique mental hacks, you can improve not just your financial decision making but also your professional and personal decision making. So, thank you guys for joining with us for this podcast. If you want to read full article about it then the link of the article is in description. Also you can subscribe to our YouTube channel Monist View. Over here Shubham from Monist View signing off.